tribe of Yisachar was responsible for the teaching of Torah within the Jewish community. This began with the original Yisachar, son of Yaakov, but continued even with the tribe into the desert with the Jewish people. One of the families of Yisachar was called Yashuv. Seems like a random name, but the commentators actually tell us it's not random at all. It's a, it's a name of a family that had to do very closely with the theme of the tribe of Yisachar and the Torah study. Yashuv means Yishuv, to be settled, to be content, to be focused. Because in order to study Torah properly, one needs to be focused. We can't study Torah quickly or loosely. We've got to be able to shut out the outside noise and to be focused on the particular subject that we are studying. And so Yashuv is an important detail, approach or attitude when studying Torah. But it's not just a lesson in Torah study. It's a lesson actually for every area of life. Because we're living in a world that is moving so quickly. Messages and information is coming our way, left, right and center. Our instinct is to make decisions quickly because we don't have time. But God is telling us, stop for a moment. In order to make your decision, you need to be focused. You need to cut out the outside noise. You need to be focused and mindful in order to come to the right conclusion. This may be with regards to decision-making of our own family, with our own children, or maybe in the workplace. Rather than making quick decisions that we may regret in the long term, let's be more focused. Yashuv, it's called Yishuv Hadat, when the mind is actually content and focused. And the more focused we are, just as it is with Torah study, and so too in other areas of life, the more settled that we are, the more focused we are, the more proud we're going to be of our decisions in the long term. Shabbat Shalom.